I've got a whole bunch of questions here to answer from a whole bunch of wonderful people. So, shall we get the questions started? Yes. Okay, this one comes from Leo the Ninja Lion, and he is very ninja-y and very lion-y. He like sneaks around and he does all these ninja things. And he's a lion. And he asks, you claim to have tried on other fursuits on occasion. Claim? Well, I have. Have you and JT worn each other's fursuit heads? What about each other's partial fursuits? The answer to that is yes. We have switched. He's worn mine. I've worn his. He used to let me wear his when I was going through fursuit envy while I was waiting for mine to be done. It was very surreal. I find it very strange when someone wears, you know, me. It's like looking at myself going, um, something here ain't right. Okay, his next question is, Quantify and in terms of Q when Q is a positive integer. Ah, uh, you know what? I have no idea what he's asking. In inter that dissects a parabolic curve. How's your lucky pencil case now? Hey, hey, hey! My lucky pencil case exploded with that question. I hope you're happy. And I have to get a whole new pencil case, and that one's gonna explode because that one's gonna hear about the first one and go, ah, ah! And finally, he asks even though the fernal equinox in Toronto has already passed, have you and JT considered coming to one next year? Yes, we consider this all the time. Mostly it has to do with money and our schedules, but eventually we will go there. Oh, he has another question for me. He asks, what does the furry fandom mean to you? The furry fandom means a lot to me, not just because I met JT and I met all you wonderful people and made some really beautiful friends, but it gave me a place to be. It gave me a sense of belonging like I'm sure it does for many of you. Um, it's fun, it's, it's spontaneous, it's full of fuzzy people. Some people are fuzzy without being fuzzy. Don't ask me about that. Um, the furry fandom is a lot of different things for me, and it's a lot of different things for a lot, you know, for everyone else too. For some it's just a hobby, for others it's a, a lot more. I think I'm right in between. You know, I mean, it's a big part of my life, but it's not, you know, it doesn't overtake my life. But it is very important. And right now, I don't really see myself leaving this fandom. I'm probably going to be one of those really, really, really old furries. And speaking of being an old furry, which, yes, I am considered technically a gray muzzle, I personally don't like that term. I prefer to be called a silver tail. Thank you very much. But that's just me. Okay, so let's see now. L uh, Lazy Ray, he's got some good questions for me. He wants to know which celebrity would I fight? Johnny Depp, just so I can touch him. Who would you rather take a bath with? Jane Goodall or Emily Dickinson? Remember, this is your one chance to gain their knowledge and bathe in their waters. Well, I'll be very honest, I am very partial to poetry, and I think it would be Emily Dickinson. And finally, he asks, you have a Star Trek replicator, but it can only make one kind of full course meal. What is your full course meal of choice? All right, steak and shrimp with cheesy mashed potatoes and peas and corn and um, a nice salad with blue cheese dressing and uh, let's see um, ooh, uh, for drink what would I have for a drink you know, originally I was going to say Mountain Dew, but I think I'm going to go with a melon ball. Oh, no, 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 take that back, take that back. I think I'll just stick with sweet iced tea. 
And finally for dessert, coconut cake. That would be it. Because, you know, it says it can only make one full course meal, but this doesn't mean I can't make the other stuff, you know, when I want something different. Aha. <clears throat> you know. Now, this question, this question comes from Ghost Maine. And even though it's for JT and myself, unfortunately, JT can't be here right now, so I'll answer for me. And they ask, what was your best experience fursuiting and why? <laughs> okay, this is going to sound funny. You'd think it would be at a convention or a fur meet. No, my best and ultimate favorite time fursuiting was about two years ago. It was winter time. I was really, really sick. I mean, I had a fever, I was coughing, I couldn't breathe, but we had to do a little, a little video of us fursuiting. And you know what? I don't even know if the video ever got up, but some of the pictures are online. So anyways, I got into fursuiting, I got into fursuit and I went outside and it was all snow. Completely, it was cold and sewing, but I never felt more comfy and cozy and I played in the snow and rolled around and I was a snow kitty just like I am and it was so much fun. I forgot about being sick and tired and gross. It was just exhilarating. I loved it. That was my favorite time for suiting. Let's see. Romaine Bowen wants to know what will JT and I be doing for Thanksgiving? I'm going to be working retail. A snow mew's got to do what a snow mew's got to do. Um, so we'll probably celebrate Thanksgiving a little bit later, which is going to probably include stuffing our faces, playing video games, and enjoying our time together. And yes, being very thankful for what we do have, which is a lot when you really stop and think about it. We have a lovely home. Um, we have each other. We both now have jobs. You know, I mean, yes, our home is small, and yes, our jobs pay us very little, but at least it's something, you know? We have great family and friends, so we have plenty to be thankful for. Now, this question comes from Seth, and, hmm, let's see here. Seth would like to know, oh, Seth. What would you like to know, my Seth Seth? Seth would like to know, is it true that all cats have at least one behavior designed to annoy their humans? Yes. Yes, it is. It's very true. Ask ads. You can't ask him because he's somewhere in the other room, and if he was out here, he'd be attacking me. Every cat is different. We know this. But every cat has that one thing. Maybe it's attacking your feet, like as does to JT. Or maybe it's nomming on wires, like as did to um, Seth's train set. I'm still sorry about that. Or maybe it's just snuffling around the floor right in front of you when you're walking through the door with great big bags of groceries and you can't see. And he's just snuffling there in front of you and you don't see him and bloop, there you go, you're dead. He also would like to know, do humans have pet cats or is it the other way around? Oh, come on now. We all know that cats have us as pets and they train us. They train us when to feed them, when to pet them, when to play with them. Dude, cats rule. That's just what they do. That's, it's a cat thing. There's just no way around it. Cats, man. Cats. So, that is our Q&A for today, and I would love, 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 love some more questions from you guys. Give me some more questions. You can send them to me on FA, um, you could send them to me on Twitter, you can even send them to me to my Gmail, or you can even ask here in the comments. Whatever, ever, ever, ever makes you happy, okay? And our next video upload, which will be next Sunday, We'll talk about, uh, let's see, what shall I talk about? Um, 
Next week's video, we'll talk about the very first time, the very first time I have ever fursuited. Okay, so I will see you then. If you like my videos, please give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I will make more kitty antic con content for you as well as stutter over all my words because I'm so excited!